Welcome to this video and today we are going to look at how we can handle the view and edit part of our you know this location cred okay so as we have already seen the add location form is working and when I add a new location it is visible over here so let me quickly do that So I have typed this in okay and if I hit save it is visible over here and we can see that <clears throat> now this thing now has an edit. So what we are going to see is how I have handled the uh, view sorry I said edit but it's actually the view. So how I have handled the view and also in that how we have given the user the ability to edit. So for example the address spelling is wrong so if I can correct it over here change this to a hospital okay make that change as well and if I save you can see the changes are reflecting so what have we done to you know accommodate these functionalities so let's see first thing first inside our web.php I have one route which is locations slash this okay where basically I am doing route model binding we are redirecting that request to location controller view and the name of the view is locations.view okay so that is the view part so that means when I click on this hospital or that location you can see the URL is locations slash 4 now the question is why this location this route model binding what it does is if I open up my location controller and what method are we looking at we are looking at the view so let's go down it should be somewhere here right in this view you can see that this get request okay has an injection into this function a dependency injection of the local uh, sorry the location model is done over here how this works is because I have said it's a location and not something like ID what Laravel will do is it will look for this for it will understand that okay it's an ID but then the route says that we need a route model binding so what it will try to do is take that 4 and make a query location find 4 something like that okay and if that model is found we go inside but if that model is not found we get a 404 okay and that's done automatically by the Laravel framework the routing is automatically doing this and hence we are injecting that model as a dependency okay so then we are returning our inertia response inertia render location view which obviously means that inside my resources js pages i have a location view.tsx okay that's the react component which is going to be used to render that particular page and to that page we are sending with location so which means that the page will get location as a prop so far so good now let's go inside this location view component so what I have done is I pretty much copy pasted the entire location add thing into this page and that's why if you see when we click any location we get this form which is filled in so how I accommodated that is let's just say you know, how do we split this in here okay mm, location add right I'll just close this and I'll just you know, try try to show you the comparison what I have done so you can see the view part has this props location any 
by the way i'm going to add these types over here right now they are any but that's not the ideal thing to do i'm gonna add that but i wanted to keep things simple initially so that you understand the basics and then we will go into the you know creating interfaces and everything but yes so what we are saying is that although the add form is not expecting any prop the view does expect the location object as a prop we got that and because i am getting that as part of the prop what i am doing is i am using this hook use effect okay with the empty array which is almost like component did mount i mean th this hook will be um, called when the component is you know going to get rendered on the ui in that if you remember from our <coughs> save uh, part right or even the select we were doing form dot set field values and we can pass an object so i've done the same thing on the loading of that component i'm setting the values of my form fields from the location object that i'm getting okay so this is the only piece which is different then now i have this which is in the form use form this tail layout is pretty much the same okay nothing changes over here the on on location type change is also pretty much the same on finish function has changed a bit why because on save obviously i don't have any id i just take everything which is there in the values and i do a post request to locations.save whereas in here i'm doing initia.post to location.update with values but if you see i'm adding the values.id as a property because when i'm updating i will obviously need that id otherwise how do i understand whom you know, which location row to update and then the form is pretty much the same and that basically brings me to the a thought process that at some point i will be refactoring this so that the form can be made common i will pass the form object and then everything should work as is okay but yeah i'll have to see how the values can kind of you know whether whether the values will be automatically available here or not because you know i'm obviously going to form uh, send the form object so that's something which we'll lo look at but right now yes i'm duplicating the code okay these are two different pages where the form is duplicated but there are subtle changes for example the view has this additional hook use effect and the url has changed obviously from the create to a post uh, sorry update okay what are we doing in the back end before updating so before updating we are taking the data in a variable when it passes these validation rules so most of them are pretty straightforward name is required short address is required minimum three maximum 255 characters type is required id should be present and it should be present in the database as well so these are the checks that i'm doing and then i'm updating the location and then we take the user back to the locations page so yeah that's how easy it is to handle this entire thing where we are able to view and also edit the location in the same form and you know, that's how you balance your you know cruds typically where you know, your business logic is you know if you, if you even look at the front end right most of the validations and everything once we refactor the form will have those logics and they will be reused because edit and create will generally have the same kind of validations the only thing which is changing is you know the url changes obviously the form submit which is a very straightforward thing then the, the, those has to be two different urls otherwise most of the logic continues to remain the same right so yeah uh, handling the crud in inertia that's why you know makes sense we are able to reuse a lot of elements and now the only thing which i need to handle is definitely the delete part otherwise for example if you see this is apollo i will do one two three belapur okay let me do it as mumbai it was a hospital i'll make it a clinic i hit save okay so apollo one two three the update is visible 
it says Mumbai and it is now a clinic which was previously a hospital. Now to complete the CRUD we need to handle the delete as well. So what I have done is let's say we create a dummy content. I save it. Now obviously the thing is I want to delete it right. So what we can do is right now what the UI I have done is there is this delete button. I need to look at the uh, UI to get some red button somewhere here. But for now, this is the delete button. Clicking on it, I'm opening a modal pop-up. This modal pop-up tells me that you know, once you delete a location, you will not be able to get it back. So I can click on cancel or I can click outside and just kind of say that, okay, no, I don't want to do it. But if I click on con delete, Okay, which is a blue button I might you know, try to get a red button over here as well but then if I delete you see there will be a page change and the dummy content is gone so how do we how do we do this or how we have done this basically okay <clears throat> let's see I'll go to the view component first where we have this delete button okay let's see uh, you can automatically the first thing which I wanted to do was you know, handle the model pop-up because the confirmation is inside the model pop-up so I used use state to keep a track whether the model is open or not I am using the ant designs model pop-up you must have seen the tab so this is you know the functionality okay it's a confirmed thing no yes whatever it is right so we are using the same thing so I have a variable which is keeping track whether the model pop-up is open or not. I mean, I'm using that variable to keep track. Okay. Then I have two functions which I have added. Handle delete and delete location. So the handle delete is basically... Okay, now, am I actually using it? I think... Let me see. Where is the model pop-up? So there's an href on click yes i'm triggering the handle delete okay i'm not setting uh, the state inside the closure because what happens is i tend to create functions for it if you are creating anonymous functions then you know when there are errors it is very difficult to understand where exactly you know, your code is breaking and also this the view part of it becomes very straightforward uh, the code is smaller if I would have written um, two lines of code, this you know, JSX would have got complicated. Okay, so I just on click, I trigger this function. I'm getting a react.mouse event. I do a event.prevent default so that you know, clicking on that a tag, the actual a tags event or the anchor tags event is kind of prevented. Then I set the model to true. Okay, I always need to set that to true because on click of delete, actually the model pop-up should come up. I, I don't want to uh, do, um, how do you say that, not uh, model pop-up. Okay, I don't want to do that. So it's always going to be true when the button is clicked. And then that particular you know, state variable because it has changed. So what is going to happen is let's go to the model pop-up. There are very simple configurations in the model pop-up this is the component coming from the ant design okay what does it do it takes a deal uh, a title where we are saying you know delete location it's a question mark you know we are asking the user whether you want to delete it or not the visible property is what is the main thing it decides where, when to show the model pop-up and when not to show the model pop-up on cancel because it was a one liner code what i have done is i have set the model to false okay this is always a very straightforward thing so i have done it i haven't created a function for this on okay which is you know the confirmation we are calling the delete location function we will look into that a little later and then we have the ability to change the text okay text is delete cancel text is obviously cancel and now let's see what we have done in the delete location function so inside the delete location function 
I am calling inertia post. I am sending the post request to this URL locations dot delete. So if you see in my web dot php, I have a locations delete route. I am sending id as a request parameter. So now let's see. We have look at location controller destroy method so let's go inside the destroy method i am validating the request id is required this time i didn't do exist because what is going to happen is i'm already doing a find or fail okay so if i do an exist and then again i do a find i am running the same query again and again i wanted to avoid that so what i have done is i already checked i only checked that the id should be present but then I have done find or fail. So if the ID is not present in the table, obviously, you know, there is nothing that is going to happen because it will break on the first function itself and the delete will never get executed. Okay. And after the delete, obviously, we are taking the user back to the locations field, uh, locations page. So yeah, that's how simple, you know, handling the delete is. And the best part is to see, you know, this model pop-up is so nicely coming up um, you have the cancel button you can click outside and even the escape button uh, button is handled so yes this is where I said right the ant design library is really helping us and this is how I was able to create this entire functionality of update uh, sorry view update and delete so that's how we handled the view edit and delete of a location if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel